romance, and uniqueness. These are the three key words for today's interior transformation. The world's most iconic jewelry brand with more than a 180 year history has influenced everyone. It's become an inspiration for our interior designer, the iconic brand of Tiffany. Their pioneering approach to jewellery and design is timeless and appeals to many and has transformed the entire industry. The classic film Breakfast at Tiffany's, released in 1961 with the star Audrey Hepburn, changed the sense of fashion and design for the next two centuries. Today's bedroom transformation is inspired by the style of Tiffany. You're watching Design Matters. I am very excited by the Tiffany style design and the transformation of a design bedroom. We are going to make this homeowner's dream come true. Wouldn't it be cool to wake up in an interior which reminds you of the iconic brand loved by millions of people in the world? Our interior designer, Gioti Kelsey, has lots of creative ideas. Hi, Gioti. Hi, Shannon. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thanks for joining us. My pleasure. You know, I recently watched a very classic movie, Breakfast at Tiffany, and I was so inspired by Tiffany's and Audrey Hepburn's style. Isn't she amazing? She is. And I was like, why can't we have this as an inspiration for designing our client's bedroom? I agree. Right? So we do have some very secret details that we're going to show our viewers, and I know they'll love it. So we'll definitely bring that up, but first I want to see what we have, what this bedroom is like for redesigning. Okay, I'm interested to see what you've got created here. Sure, so first we'll go through the bedroom in the existing condition. There are two bedroom windows, which are typical bedroom style, but we'll paint them in white color. There are two big panel doors for the wardrobes, which we will transform into white and black theme, as per Tiffany and Audrey style. And looking at the design of the 3D drawings that we have here, the design will have the Tiffany blue color in there, which has to come. Don't you like that color? Oh, I love it. Right? And we have created this custom fireplace in here with drywall and painted it white with the tiles that go at the back and it would be lit up with nice candles and it would give that warm, cozy feeling to the room itself. So classy. I'm already getting excited. And when looking at the other three drawings here, the dresser is also in mint color. So it would create that whole vibe and for sure we had to have that focus wall with the trims on it and painted gray. Looks great. I, I, I'm in love with it and I'm excited for this bedroom to finish and looking forward to it. Not to mention you have that flower in there. The ceiling light is something that I want my viewers to get excited once we have this room full in detailed finished. This is going to be a light. I'm telling you, as I mentioned, we have put in much effort in the details itself to bring that whole inspiration to the life. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Let's keep some secret details because as you can see, there's different colors, like you can see the wood here, you can see the rose gold fixtures. There is some other details that's gonna make it more classy and timeless. Wow, this sounds very intriguing. I want to see the process of the chandelier being created. Of course, Shannon, I see you excited and that's what I guess my viewers would be after seeing this show. So we'll definitely show the whole process of how we got to this amazing bedroom transformation. So to give you an idea, we have some color samples here. As I mentioned earlier, Tiffany's style is her own Tiffany blue. Yeah, do you like that color? Oh, I love it. Oh yeah, definitely. So we went with the blue theme and also to complement it a little bit with the cream and also this wallpaper. Remember I was talking about those wardrobe panels? Yeah. This is the sticky wallpaper, sticky in a way. It glues itself very nicely and the writing. Isn't it something that will give you the positive energy all the time in the room itself? I love it. Dream big, smile often, and love. And we're going to love this room, aren't we? Definitely. I think we should 
head right into the bedroom and make this transformation happen. Let's go. Let's go. Blue walls, original wooden window trims, two wardrobes with standard sliding black doors, laminate flooring, ceiling lighting, and a few common furniture pieces. We are going to transform this space completely and make it truly unique. Following the interior designer's project, we started with the accent wall trim. We bought budget MDF planks from a renovation store, cut them, put some all-purpose glue on each piece, and applied the trim to the wall by using a nail gun. We finished the vertical trim first, and then added the rest of the horizontal pieces. To add more color, we decided to use Indigo Blue Aura Paint by Benjamin Moore. Two layers of the paint were applied to ensure that the surface is fully covered. We covered the original window casings with a semi-gloss waterborne interior alkyd paint called Advanced, presented by Benjamin Moore in floral white. For the rest of the room, we chose the Aura paint by Benjamin Moore in a light grey shade called Penthouse. The next step in the transformation process is the building of the decorative fireplace. For the base of this interior element, we bought 2x2 two two boards. We joined all of the parts together, framed and covered it with drywall. The decorative fireplace's drywall will then be finished with plaster and trim too. We installed tile pieces in beige, which also creates depth and definition. We love the idea of sliding doors for the bedroom wardrobe. To create more special accent in the interior, we will cover the sliding doors with designer sticky wallpaper. We chose a black and white color scheme based on the Tiffany Studio style. While we are working on the transformation, let's visit Yelena Filipova and see how she implemented the idea of Audrey Hepburn's floral hat into our interior design project. Welcome to Be My Fest. Today's giant flowers are trending. Yelena Filipova is a floral decor artist with nine years of experience in decoration and design. And she is the founder of Be My Fest Giant Flower Studio. For our project, we used EVA foam. It has many beneficial traits. It's long-term durable, water resistant, and the most important part is it's non-toxic and safe for living spaces. The process starts with material selection. Then each petal is cut out, hand dyed if needed, shaped using special tools and devices, and after many transformations, a flat piece of foam sheet turns into a finished piece of art, adding style and elegance to our room. For our ceiling lighting, we used a simple base with a glass platform and attached the petals of the flower to it. We are not afraid of experimenting and we are ready to see how this functional decor element will look in our completed interior design project. We are back. GOT, I am blown away. I completely understand where your 3D rendering drawings were going. Great job. I'm glad you loved it. And you know what? It turned out even better than I expected. I really want to show you and give you a tour so that our viewers can also recreate this design if they would liked it, right? Sounds good. So let's look at this big wall. Okay. So in this wall, we actually took trims 
custom painted them with Benjamin Moray paint to give that 60s vibe which was quite in demand in those times. Do you, do you recall? I do and I love the fact that it's created some dimension on the wall as well. Definitely and you know by treating this is a design tip that I would like to give my viewers. Treating this wall as a whole gives that huge vibe to the room itself rather than you know once you break it down it makes your room look even smaller so it just makes the space even wider and spacious enough. Great focal point. Perfect. Moving further, we have two windows. As, as you recall, we looked at them, they were brown trim and we painted them white. So it gives them a fresh and modern look and you know, it just goes well with the theme. As we go along, I'll show you how the white ties in. Yep, bright and clean. Definitely. So this was a fireplace that we talked about. It's, it's still being worked on. We are going to use these taupe color uh, backsplash tiles in the interior. We always try to use pieces that are multi-usable. -use it's Though it's a backsplash tile, but it can still look very nice in this fireplace. And then this trend will be used to complete the whole entire look of it. So this is custom built with drywall and painted white again. I cannot wait to see the taupe coloring of the tiles against the Tiffany blue. Great contrast. It will, it will make it look very nice. And as we move further, we have those big doors that are being recreated to go with the whole Tiffany and Audrey's style itself. And you recall those wordings? You loved them in the initial episode. I do. And what's behind here? It's a secret. Uh-oh. Yes. That's, that's the trick we used in this room. We wanted to get rid of those lured bifold doors and, you know, give it a designer look that talks about the whole theme of this room. And here we are. We got these two big panels that actually hide our closets very nicely. The panels, yep, they cover up everything. And what a great way to wake up to some inspirational quotes. Smile often, love, create your own sunshine. It will be there for you always to get inspired. Yeah, right? and some people, they need that sunshine when they're waking up on the wrong side of the bed. I agree, I agree <laughs> with you, right. And to add more to this room, we couldn't resist the Tiffany's flower. The flower, like the pink one I was holding earlier. Yes, so we partnered up with one of the floral decor artists here in Winnipeg. She's one of the leader, and her name is Elena Filipova. She custom created this flower for this room. Very talented. And if you were wondering what it is made of, the base itself is the glass vase with the flower. And this material is custom built. It's non-toxic, waterproof, and very safe to use in interiors. And that's exactly what you want. You want your bedroom to be safe. I think we should take this room to another level by bringing in the furniture and not to mention our painter cafe friends are working on this dresser itself. They are actually making the dresser the whole Tiffany vibe. And I'm telling you, Shannon, it will be the key element in this interior design concept. Excellent. I can't wait to see it. While they work on the dresser, let's do some staging. Let's go. I'm part owner of the Painter's Cafe. The other owner is my sister, Michelle. I teach people how to paint on furniture. People can bring their furniture to paint here. We teach many classes on uh, painting signs, different wood crafts. And today I'm going to show you how I refinished a dresser for the Design Matters TV show in Tiffany style. First of all, I like to scuff sand the surface with 180 grit sandpaper, followed up with a shellac to prevent any bleed through of wood tannins or any wood stain that may come through the paint or varnish. Then after you let the shellac dry, you go ahead and you paint with the chalk paint. Chalk paint, all it needs is a bit of a tooth in order for the paint to stick. So that is why we scuff sand the surface and then shellac it. You go ahead and you paint for sure two to three coats onto your furniture. 
you let that dry overnight and then you either seal it with a wax or a varnish, water-based, and then you're good to go. This project is very exciting because it involves putting an image onto the front of a dresser. And I have two different ways of doing that. The first choice is to paint it by hand or the second choice is to use a vinyl stencil. In this case, we're going to use a vinyl stencil because there are a lot of details and um, areas on the image that I want to get perfect. A lot of people are nervous to get started with doing any type of creative furniture transformations, but I can assure you that it's so fun, it is so easy to do, and there's never a mistake because it's so easy to just cover it up again with more paint. The, the whole thing about painting furniture is just to do it. You see it on Pinterest, you see it everywhere, and it's just a matter of knowing the right steps, being educated on how to prepare your furniture, that's the number one thing. And then the rest is all just being very creative. And when you're creative, there aren't any mistakes. It's a way to be free and it's like meditation when you're painting on furniture. And the end results are always so surprising, so make sure you take before and after shots because you'll be very upset if you don't have that picture before and after to brag about. The most exciting part of this transformation project is staging. Let's get the homeowner's bed back into the room. Plaid and comfy pillows make the interior very cozy. Pillows and more pillows in plush texture, llama fur, and in the signature Tiffany blue color will add to the atmosphere. Live edge slab side tables for our bedroom add the natural accent to the interior. These tables were made by Western Millwork Limited, manufacturers of fine cabinetry and custom architectural millwork. We kept the natural look of the wood by covering it with a couple layers of steam. Let's add Morse textiles in Tiffany Blue. Two pre-loved and refinished romantic chairs will bring us back to the 60s. A cowhide rug will be used to provide a focal point on the wooden floor, which also adds more warmth to our cozy bedroom. The exclusive ceiling lamp in floral design has been installed. We also installed the pendants in rose gold, the metal base, black cord, and Edison bulbs from the 60s create the atmosphere of both modern and the past. The key element of the Tiffany style interior has arrived. The drawer with the legendary portrait of Audrey Hepburn and the quote on it makes it very unique. A few more details and accents will be added to finalize the whole picture of the Tiffany style interior. What do you think, Shannon? Such a big difference. The Tiffany style interior is a dream that has come true. And I'm sure that our audience is in love with the transformation as well. I'm blown away. I'm glad that we were able to meet and even over exceed your expectations. Yep. So, you know, we, we tried to 
implement all the design elements that we talked about in our initial design uh, session that we did. Yeah, we have incorporated quite a bit of Tiffany style in regards to color. You can see the black and white wallpaper and turning down here we have Tiffany herself and we have quite a bit done effort to maintain that soul of 60s vibe in this room. Yeah, yeah. No doubt, you have nailed it. Absolutely gorgeous. First, we have this amazing dresser that is being refinished. This was an old dresser in a teak wood color. So what we did to this is we brought Painters Cafe, uh, who are very good at what they do. And you can tell that's such a live picture that's been painted on the cabinet itself. Gorgeous. Right? So as we, as we move along, we brought, do you remember we had some raw wood pieces in our initial design session? Yes! Right, so that's this. So we got Western Millwork to create these custom tables for us. That's raw wood. That's like wood log itself, stained and finished with the wrought iron legs. What do you think about the cushion colors? I log? love it. So plush, the different textiles itself. Love it, the color combinations. And this in itself, talk about creating a cozy area to rest your head. I was going to ask you, can you see yourself living in this room rather? Completely. Definitely, right? And not to forget, Shannon, uh, these light, that hanging lights that we have, they add quite a bit of coziness to this room itself. Like they're finished in rose gold. Remember, they, I was mentioning we are going to use some accent color in this room, and that's this one, right? So it's still modern, but those bulb style reminds you of those old times. Moving to the fireplace here, we have finished it with the trims. Now it's looking more traditional, more like I can see myself sitting here having those candles lit up in the evening and looking out through the window and reading a book. Yep, coziness and romance all in one. Agree, agree. And I thought that was the tagline in your initial conversations we had, right? Beauty, romance, yep. and I guess you had uniqueness, yeah, right? Unique, uniqueness was the third, absolutely. Definitely. So Gorgeous. in order to finish it off and to add that character of those wooden pieces, we brought this cowhide rug, which is still comfy when you walk on it, but it still, you know, uh, balances and adds the chairs that are in wooden finish and add it to the modern look of the room also. Gorgeous. And the really nice thing about the rug is it's versatile yeah. and durable. Definitely, definitely. And it's easy to vacuum, I must say. And I want to bring your attention to these chairs. These are old chairs that we have, we have procured from a store. So what we did, we took the stairs and we have actually reupholstered them to give it a new look and also make it even more fresh for new clients to use it. Um, the best part of it, these chairs is, I like those details, those gold studs. Yep. It just make it very vintage, I feel. The hammered nails. Right. Beautiful. Right. I love the fact that the chairs have been repurposed. Yeah. And, and anybody that knows my own personal sense and style, I believe in repurposing items, including my entire wardrobe. So the fact that we can do this with furniture as well, ideal. I think that's, that's what the message from this room is, that we can still embrace the old, because as you say, old is gold, yep. right? And also the intention is now that the climate and everything, we want to give a message to clients that you can still refinish and redecorate your rooms with the limited budget. It's just you have to have that eye for doing it. Yep. Right? And patience. And patience. Yep. Right. Elegance on a budget. Definitely. Love it. Shannon, I think we cannot miss talking about this piece that adds that high-end boutique vibe to this room. Like, these candles, this mirror, it just reflects one trick that I can give to anybody who's watching the show. Like bring mirror and candle stands. It just makes your room more comfortable and brings that coziness to it because then it's more roomy and more to your style. Yeah. Right? The reflection's gorgeous. And I love the fact that the tray can be used, hopefully, for someone to bring breakfast in bed. I I agree. <laughs> that would be a dream come true for That's sure. That's for sure. Right? <laughs> yes. Well, I have to admit, the designers and the professional team are always surprising me doing amazing things. Yourself, Jayoti, you've done a phenomenal job. Thank you again for joining our team. Thank you for having us and it's a pleasure to be with the Design Matters team and you know, 
add life to our room and give inspiration to our viewers. We couldn't have did it without you. So thank you again. My pleasure. Yeah. Folks, you are watching Design Matters. Beauty is being the best possible version of yourself inside and out, said legendary actress Audrey Hepburn. We helped you to create your own beauty and believe in yourself. And we want you to be the best possible version of yourself while creating beauty in interior design. Your vision and design matters.